Chapter three, part one, we are all addicts. How was that for a title of a chapter? I was definitely going for some attention there, as you might imagine. Uh, I understand that not every single person has an addiction to something, but I was trying to create um, a little bit of a bond between people who may be addicted to substances like alcohol or drugs and people who are not and just help them realize that these people aren't just weaklings or junkies or whatever negative connotation you might have because how would you feel if you were not able to have your morning cup of coffee or your energy drink or your cigarettes if you smoke or nicotine packs if you don't smoke but you take those nicotine packs how about your glass of wine at night your beer if you have any of that liquor how about your over-the-counter medications, anything like that, or your gummies or your weed or your prescription medications? We all take chemicals. Well, let me qualify that. We don't all. Many of us, many people in America take a chemical of some kind, whether it's a cup of coffee or beer or something like that. And, you know, in, in our modern America, that's fine for most people, right? That's just what we do. We choose to consume things that may create an effect on us. Um, we, we also sometimes indulge. We want to indulge in things. You know, how, how many of us have eaten that extra piece of pizza when we were already full? Or we had that dessert at that nice restaurant when really we, you know, we, we were stuffed. We do this sometimes, right? And so sometimes that's how things start with addiction. They, they start and they indulge and they enjoy themselves and it starts to just slip out of control. And realize that pharmaceuticals are drugs too. Uh, they're just labeled as medications, but they're all chemicals. And so because you were taking your Ambien to sleep or something like that, that's essentially the same thing as somebody else taking something for sleep that may be uh, so they're getting from the street, all right? It doesn't mean it's the same chemical compound, and it doesn't mean the class of it being legal or illegal is the same, but you're taking a substance to get to sleep. And many people have used alcohol or substances for many, many years to, to do something like that. Uh, there's also food uh, in terms of being addicted, quote-unquote, to sugar, to carbs, things like that. We all have been through this. Well, let me qualify again. We haven't all, some of you are Mennonites or Amish or Mormon or some kind of very pure type of people, or you're just really disciplined and you, you don't have any of those issues. So I don't mean every single person I know don't come out and say, bro, I'm not one. You're a liar. The whole book's a fraud. No, I get it. Not everybody. I'm just saying generally most people enjoy food and substances and they like to make themselves feel good from these different things. So why am I bringing it all up? Well, because I want you to be able to relate to somebody who may be addicted if you can't relate to them. If you just can't understand why that person feels the need to have their cocaine but you couldn't go without drinking your beer every night. I just want you to realize that, okay, they are different substances, but it's the same type idea. Please don't judge these people. Well, you can judge them if you want. It's up to you. But don't pretend not to understand them because they're more similar to you than you may think. That's really all I wanted to get into in this first part of the chapter. Uh, it, it, it just, I feel like when you, when we start to classify other people as them versus us, it, it makes things more difficult to understand, to treat, to get, get past, uh, issues. And I, I, I was just sort of trying to shock people a little bit. Hey, we're all addicts. You need your coffee. You need your pizza. You need your, uh, for you guys that are personal trainers and super healthy and fit. What about your pre-workout? Could you live without your pre-workout? How about your creatine? all these different things that you take to help your body. And you could argue, well, those aren't drugs. Those are either vitamins or nutrients or things like that. I get it. I get it. I'm not trying to call you guys out or anything like that. I'm just trying to say, 
before you sort of judge people and, and think that, that you could not possibly ever be like them, uh, realize that you may be, may have more in common than you may think. And, and that's all. Let's just, let's just try to work together and understand that people have shortcomings. So, some people are, you know, really obese. Your, your, your friend who's 380 pounds, right? That person has a problem with food and just the same way that another person may have a problem with heroin. So the, you know, people, everyone struggles, right? Who doesn't struggle? Let's be honest. And what, you know, when you struggle with substances or food or whatever, we're just struggling. Everyone's got a path. Everyone has their, their issues. Everyone has their vices. And let's try not to judge people based on what their vices are. Let's try to uh, help uh, society as a whole get better.